Podcast, as the name implies, the materials uh, require heat, uh, both to, to process the components um, and in the molding process. If it's an application that has very high abrasion, um, very difficult environmental conditions, very high loads on the material, uh, higher temperatures, that's when you might make the choice to use a hot cast product. Now what you get from hot cast that you can't get from cold cast is the properties are, you know, two, three, four, five x times what you can get with cold cast. Which means that the materials at room temperature are either very, very thick or even solids. And that's where the name really comes from, hot casting, is because you have to heat the materials to process and to pour. You need a stainless steel reactor, and it needs to be jacketed um, so that it can have uh, liquids in there to heat and cool. In hot cast, an awful lot of our applications are in motion. They're dynamic, they're moving. Like a tire for a forklift, like a roll that uh, would be in a steel mill where these sheets of steel would come off and hit you know, a roller, and these, they're, they have, uh, they're heavy, they have cutting edges, uh, where you need a lot of abrasion resistance, tear resistance, cut resistance, that's where we, you would use the, uh, the hot cast resins. You know, but if we segment our customers by the types of applications uh, that they serve, usually the biggest market segment ends up being miscellaneous. Uh, there are so many just general industrial applications, uh, really just new and interesting ideas every year. Thank you.